Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley Sue and I am happy you're here. Thank you for clicking. If you are rather new to the beauty community of YouTube or for that matter, perhaps new to YouTube at all, like I've been in the last eight months to a year, then this video might be of interest to you in learning what to expect from your foray into this rabbit hole. And even if you've been here for a really long time and you are familiar with it, maybe you've been a YouTuber for a decade already, maybe it's gonna be good for you to hear what someone who has been part of this community now for just a handful of months has to say about it because I don't have years worth of experience. I haven't seen the change and the rise and fall of certain trends on YouTube. Oh my gosh. I made us cappuccinos again because I'm having a kick right now thanks to my father-in-law. Thank you, Dad, for the frother. Boy, I'm getting used out of it. Though my latte art is non-existent right now. But my foam is pretty. My cup overfloweth. Too much. Too much. I poured too much. Oh, but it is good. This is the good, the bad, and the neutral of what on earth YouTube is like for us. First off, you're going to figure out immediately that there is so much you can learn. You can find out what shades are good for your skin tone, whether your skin tone is cool or warm. You can find out if your skin tone is cool or warm. You can learn how to apply eyeshadow. You can learn what a holosexual is. You can learn about different products and how they perform. You can learn about the quality of different types of cheap clothing that you see advertised at you on Facebook and Google all the time. What? Oh, I just poured cappuccino all over me. Hmm, one day I may learn not to overfill my drinks. Aside from the mess, yay for knowledge! Knowledge is good. Not all knowledge is good, but we're gonna go with knowledge is good. Now, something else that you're going to notice pretty quickly, I'm going to consider this a neutral piece of information. Trends prevail. If you are new into YouTube right now and you are actually watching uh, some of the big name beauty bloggers, and I don't even have to drop names because if you're interested in beauty reviews, you're going to very quickly hear about five or ten names because they're apparently the people everybody watches. And you're going to notice they're all talking about the same items. They all had the same favorite concealer, the same favorite foundations, a certain primer. They are all loving a certain kind of brush. And if you're new to this, you're going to think that must mean that those are the products to use. It's not. Those are trends you will feel quickly like you have to get those products, that they are the products to have, and you're going to feel a little bit of kind of a crushing pressure to run out and get them. It's a massive rabbit hole, but don't do it. Seriously, within six months, it's going to be a very different set of primers, of concealers, of foundations, eyeshadow palettes. These are things that are trends. There are things that have staying power, but what they're all talking about right now is what they are newly excited about or possibly even paid to be excited about right now. So don't fall down that rabbit hole and consider that a neutral piece of advice. Now for something ugly. If you're new to this, you are going to find YouTubers and bloggers that you adore Door. Don't meet your heroes. Except you kind of don't have a choice to on YouTube. Now if I'm one of your favorites right now, I'm afraid to even say this, but it's true because anybody who's your favorite, chances are if you're new to YouTube and you are excited because you're finding someone who you like their energy, you like how they reviewed a certain product, something really vibed with you, there's a possibility that in just a few months, they're going to revolt you. Cute turns to obnoxious. Sounding impressive starts sounding like BS. And true colors actually do come out and you start to see them for who they are. So some of the people who you like straight out of the gate, you'll continue to like. Some of the ones you love straight out of the gate, you'll start to see they're a little more flawed than you thought, but you still like them. 
And some of the ones that you just thought were awesome in the beginning, you may end up being a little grossed out by. That's always a bummer, but consider it part of your journey. And that's how you're going to discern what's right for you, who is best for you, and what you want out of your makeup journey, your beauty journey, your YouTube journey, your entertainment journey, your life. <laughs> My pillow is gross. That said, there are some great people and personalities on YouTube. Some of my personal favorites, Jackie Ina, adore her, Stephanie Nicole, Stephanie Lang. There is someone for everyone on YouTube with good hearts, good spirits, good purpose. You know, just trying to contribute to the world in whatever way that they feel their sparkle has. So I'm thankful for that. And I know that even though you might find a little crux where you're kind of in a pit of, I'm not liking anybody that I'm finding on YouTube right now. It's okay, there are people for you out there. there. There are videos you will love. If you are into watching videos of World War II veterans talk about their stories, that exists. If you just want to watch videos of cats dressed like unicorns, I guarantee you it exists. I have not looked that up, but cats, unicorns, people are obsessed. It's, I guarantee it's a thing. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank you, coffee. Now I'm gonna jump straight to a negative piece here. This one is a downer about the beauty community and being new to YouTube. If you are new to YouTube, especially for makeup and beauty purposes, things are a bit dreary sometimes and you are looking for something to make you feel dazzly again. So, you know, you sign online and you're looking at beautiful colors and fun and charming people and people who are laughing and dancing and just getting their groove on in a whole variety of ways and you feel really excited about it. And then you start to see that there's a dark side of the beauty community on YouTube and it doesn't even seem possible. And at first it is a little heartbreaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and break your heart now in case you by chance just haven't figured out yet. You're going to find out that some of these YouTubers who seem like best friends, they aren't best friends. They have drama like the rest of us. They have friendship arguments like the rest of us and things that seem perfect are never what they seem. You find out that some of these cosmetic companies kind of have some sketchy business practices like any industry. You realize how problematic some YouTubers or some makeup companies are that there are racial injustices that are perpetuated through their products. You find out that there are uh, affiliate code links that are not being disclosed, which is against the law and sketchy as crap. You end up running across and finding out there are drama channels about the beauty bloggers. And then you find out there are drama channels about the drama channels. You'll find yourself probably, if you are using YouTube as your choice of entertainment and education for a while. First going, ooh, shiny! And then feeling yourself pulled a little bit into a vortex that makes you feel a little yucky, but hang in there. It's not all crap. There's some really great people and some great things to learn. So hang in there. Just figure out your boundaries and you do you. Now I only have two more things to say and one's negative and one's positive. So I'm not going to end on a negative note. So I'm gonna do two negatives back to back. You know what, I wouldn't even call it a negative. It's a neutral. This is a neutral piece of information, though it might kind of bother you a little bit. A lot of the beauty YouTubers you end up adoring and you think they're so real and they're so natural and then you'll go down the rabbit hole far enough to realize most of them have had some work done. But if you're somebody who's managed to make it to 40 or over and you haven't had any work done at all, in this world, you're kind of looking for, I mean, I hate to say this, but you're almost looking for permission to feel okay about yourself for not having lip injections or injections underneath your eyes or a boob job or an ear tuck or uh, that freezy fat thing that freezes your fat away. I know a lot of women who are choosing to go into middle life or some people who just simply can't afford to have work done that they would have work done, they're looking for permission to feel pretty as they are. 
and it's a little bit of a distraction and a bummer when you find out that your super gorgeous natural looking um, person may have had some work done. Now this is not shade at having work done. If this is something that you want to do, it makes you feel better, and it's something you can afford to do, then, then you do you. But I am just letting you know, you know, we all have insecurities. We're human. We have insecurities. And putting your makeup on should not be about fixing things and hiding your insecurities, though to an extent it is. But makeup should be fun. You should be having a good time. That's what it should primarily be about. And again, that does not make them bad people. It does not make what they've done bad. And I hope that you don't judge them for those things. But I do know if you are also my age or older and you haven't had any work done, that it can feel a little like, why is everyone getting their fat frozen and they're half my size? Am I supposed to be doing that too? So try really hard to remember, this is not a competition. YouTube is not a competition and watching YouTube videos is not a competition. So we don't need to feel like just because someone else felt like that was the right thing for them and it may have been, that doesn't mean that they think it's the right thing for you and even if they did, it doesn't mean that you think it's the right thing for you. Try to remember what you want, not what you're afraid of, not what you're afraid other people think when they look at you, but what you want to feel about yourself. I have this giant neck waddle that my grandma even called a goiter. Like she was legitimately concerned that it is a medical thing. It's not, it's called I got fat. It's called I gained a lot of weight and now I have neck waddle. Having that sucked out would make me pretty happy. It really would, but I'm not gonna do that. And again, that's a variety of reasons that I'm choosing not to do that. My insecurity wants to override and tell me to do it anyhow, but I know better. And maybe as I continue my fitness journey, it will get smaller and go away, or maybe it won't. But for right now, it's staying where it is. Just because other people who I really like have had an injection or Botox or whatever it may be, just doesn't mean that I have to do it also. So don't find yourself feeling pressure if and when you see that your favorite YouTubers have had some work done. Now for our coffee day, I'm gonna finish on this final note for you newbies to the world of YouTube. I have found YouTube to be a hub of inclusivity and of information and a demand for accountability. And that is a really refreshing thing because there is a lot of fakery and shenaniganery and issues in this world. There's a lot of problematic BS all around us all the time, but it's really nice to see, for instance, with the dragging of Tarte lately for their very Fifty Shades of White um, foundation line that they are releasing, as well as their comment that darker shades are only needed for summer when we get tan. It's actually really refreshing to see a ton of YouTubers come out and say enough is enough. YouTubers of all different races coming out and saying, no, no, we're not having that anymore. And we will flat out stop using you. We don't need to use your brand if this is how you look at people of color. If they are such an afterthought that your comments can be this clueless and insensitive, we'll find something else to use no matter how much we liked your products before. We're seeing brands, both Drugstore and Prestige, come out and make an impact and show that they can have full comprehensive lines. We had last year the release of Rihanna's line that has, what, 40 different shades of skin tones? And we're seeing a safe place for men who enjoy using makeup. They want to play with makeup too. They like the costumery of it. They like they feel more like themselves and more vibrant when they get to play with color and image. And this community provides a safe place for people to play. And if you're an older woman and you're falling in love with makeup for the first time in your life and you are really feeling limited by the concept of age appropriate, that's okay, there's a community for you. If Batty Winkle can pull off rainbow bright colors, then we all can. Maybe not, Batty Winkle's pretty badass. Do you love crazy colors? Awesome. Do you love neutral palettes? 
awesome. Do you like a dose of Christianity with your makeup? No problem. Do you adore people who just let the cuss words fly while they're sharing their opinion? Check. Are you 15? Are you 55? There is literally something for everyone out there. And by something I don't mean you're relegated to one sad YouTuber. There's a variety of people out there. There's just an inclusivity that is so exciting that, that, that people are held in check, that people are able to be themselves and feel safe. And that when people are made to feel unimportant and to feel like an afterthought and to feel unsafe, that the community as a whole seems to band together and call for change. And that, that's some good stuff. So if you're happy to catch, if you're happy, so if you're happening to catch this video here in the very, very, very beginning of your YouTube journey, these are some of the lessons that you have to look forward to experiencing for yourself. You will experience them all in the first few months, but if, I'm gonna say it one more time for the cheap seats in the back, if you get disheartened over what you're saying, just change the video because YouTube is not a bad thing. It's a tool. It's a tool that people use to share their sparkle. So if you happen to have stumbled across some funky junk and someone is rubbing you the wrong way, just move on along. And if I'm one of those people you need to move on along from, I'm sorry. I hope this has been helpful anyhow. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your YouTube journey. And if at all I have been insightful to you, maybe hit the thumbs up for me and let me know that some of this makes sense and just enjoy it. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the show, enjoy the show. There's so much to learn, there's so much to do. Maybe hit subscribe so that we can become friends. Maybe leave a comment below so I know what's going on, what you think about things. Keep it classy, keep it respectful in the comments and I am game for it, even if we don't agree. So again, God bless you, I love you. Have a great week. Thank you for watching.